Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I have recently been made aware of this new Deco Art Ready to Pour Acrylic Paint that they have at Michael's. This is, it says, create vibrant artwork with this ready to use highly pigmented acrylic for paint pouring, no additives needed. So this is another just ready to go out of the bottle kind of thing. And then Michael's also came out with this paint pouring canvas. And this is, um, it's harder, almost like a wood panel. So it says as a wood frame, a support panel, and then an ultra smooth canvas surface. So I had someone ask me if you need this to paint pour. The answer is of course not. People have been paint pouring for a very long time before these were ever out. <laughs> so, but we're going to try it out. I mean, it's definitely more expensive and the surface doesn't sag. So it could be something that if you want to use it, you totally can. I'm going to just try these all out today. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so unfortunately, because money doesn't grow on trees, I only got four colors for now. Um, picked some of my favorites. So I got white, um, deep turquoise, really pretty, and then uh, blue violet, which is basically a bluey purple. And if, of course, I like these, I'll go back and get some more, but we'll just try these out. And then, of course, black, so a little bit of that. And then we need some more. I'm going to circle through these again. Could probably unscrew the tops. That might be better actually to reduce air bubbles. So these do seem a little bit thicker than my mixed paints. Not much, but a little bit. So that's just kind of an interesting factor to note. That should be good. And if you guys have tried these out, let me know in the comments what you think, especially if you've tried the other pre-mixed paints and can kind of give a comparison. Um, so today's review is of the paints and this new acrylic paint board thing. So yeah, you can tell kind of the thickness on there. It's not as quite as fluid but definitely still within the realm of totally fine. So there's kind of a range of mixtures, you know, and there's ones that will, there's a range between too thick and too thin, that's fine. And this is, you know, within that range. When it gets too thick, it cracks. When it's too thin, it muddies up and you lose all your designs. So I like this corner over here. I'm going to bring this back a bit more. Um, so it's interesting because I'm trying the canvas and the paints. I mean, you can tell this isn't flowing like super fast or anything like that. It's a nice result. Nice result. I like the colors. Very vibrant. Um, I mean, just on an immediate assessment of consistency, I like the Arteza ones better, but, um, color wise, they seem to be a pretty decent contender for the brightness of the color and everything. So let's let this sit here for a little while. We'll see if anything else develops and then we'll come back and do a close up. All right, we're back. Not much changing here. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. So here's the lower right-hand corner. I really love these colors together. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Up to the upper right-hand corner. Over to the upper left-hand corner. It did maintain the lines pretty well. Lower left hand corner, we do get some uh, little pinholes with the white. And you can kind of see if I go at an angle here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's sort of an interesting consistency. 
like there's kind of ripples in there which is unusual um but yeah looks pretty awesome so I've got to do probably another like 10 experiments to give this my full review. I'll probably try some on a vase. I'll try some with a flip cup. I'll try some with maybe some with silicone. But let me know down in the comments what you think um, of this. And also if you've tried the paints and what you thought of them. In terms of the board, I mean, it's cool. But I really don't. I don't think it's necessary. I would personally just stick with the regular canvases. Um, I mean, I think it was like five bucks for this board or something like that. Of course, I used a coupon, but that's just, to me, not specifically worth it. You know, but it's, it's a personal preference thing. If that's something you're interested in, go for it. I can see that that might also be better for a bigger project because these small canvases don't tend to sag much anyways because they're so small, but if you're using a bigger canvas, might be good. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you all next time.